In this video, uh, join me on a short visit down to Dungeness on the south coast of Kent for some minimalist photography. The objective of today was to come away with some um, minimalist stroke fine art pictures. So what is fine art photography? Um, I've read and seen a lot of different um, reports or people's opinions on what this is. Um, and I agree with some parts of things I've read and I've heard talked about on YouTube videos by others. But to me, fine art photography is the process of taking an image and making it significantly different to what the actual source image was. So by minimalizing it, by reducing it in colors, intensities of colors, um, contrast, reducing it, often it reducing it, sometimes increasing it, but effectively creating an image that's a lot different to what it was the, the source, the original um, scene that was taken represents in such a way that it creates emotion. People look at it and think that's really quite a stunning image and they know that it's massively manipulated because it simply can't be like anything that exists. One classic technique for getting to that point is to actually show slow shutter down so that it's very very slow um, so that the sea for instance can turn into a milky pool of water rather than all the waves and ripples appearing um, during the, the photograph. Um, equally skies on long exposures where the clouds drift and smear into a sort of a streak. This sort of technique can create images that look really quite different. I'm not sure in their own right those two or three techniques I've just mentioned represent fine art photography in their own right. It's, it's more the photographer's um, interpretation of the elements that they've got in front of them and how they turn them into the final image. Minimalistic photography, which is one of the things I've been trying to do today, to me, and again a lot of people have quite different opinions, I'm not sure there's any right opinion necessarily. Um, minimalism to me is the reduction of a scene to as few significant acting parts, um, objects or effects in the image so that you can, um, it, it leaves you with a feeling that there's not a lot there but it's a very strong image as a result of there not being a lot there. Um, the scene I'm hoping I'm going to do when I get back is I've taken two or three boats on the, uh, the forefront on the shingle down at Romney there just now and I had one very close in the foreground, an old wooden um, hulk remnants of a boat, not a currently working boat, it's been retired a long time ago so it's starting to decay, um, although it's still intact, it's very, you wouldn't go to sea in it. Um, and then on either side of it in the distance, one closer and one further away, there are two other boats one of which I think, or possibly both of them, are now currently working boats, um, just waiting on the shore, waiting for someone to take them out um, and do some fishing with them. However, um, the image, apart from those three elements, doesn't have anything else in it. Um, the sky is effectively completely grey, so, so by being completely grey there is nothing there uh, to distract you, and the foreground and the parts of the beach that are connecting it are pretty featureless. So you've just basically got three objects there and those three objects are the three boats. Now to me that is pretty close to what I would perceive as minimalistic. Um, I'm hoping the image will come out quite well. I'll almost certainly turn it into a black and white image as well because taking the colour away is another way of minimising the image and by minimising it I'm hoping I'll create much more from the image. It will, it will have more emotion to it. Um, it will feel more bleak because I want to try and represent the weather conditions and just how unpleasant in some ways it was actually being there this morning. Uh, unpleasant from the point of view of getting wet and blown sideways but quite pleasant from the point of view of taking pictures and having a, uh, a morning out doing what I like to do which is taking pictures. So um, by the time we get back hopefully um, the weather is improving, the sun's coming out now in places so it's all changed, that's often what happens. Um, so that's, they're my feelings on what the, the different genres or similar genres represent and what I'm trying to come back with today and hopefully I can talk you through it when we get back to the office. Well, let's see. 
Oh, blimey, uh, this wild and windy weather today. Um, I've come down to Dungeness uh, uh, Peninsula here on the south coast of England um, to what appears to be an incredibly blustery, wet and windy day. Um, I've come down here really to try and get some minimalist images. Um, I think the conditions are right for it, if I can stand it uh, without being blown over. I'm currently stood in the shade of this little building, uh, it's the only way I can get any audio quality to work. But I'm, I'm about to mooch off in the direction of the old wooden boats which are on the foreshore up here and see what we can get. Let's see what happens. Oh blimey, this is absolutely brutal. I'm soaked to the skin, jeans are absolutely sodden, I didn't bring waterproof trousers. We walked along the beach, horizontal rain for the last 15-20 minutes. As you can probably see my glasses are completely covered in it. Um, I've managed to get a couple of shots but I've got to be careful because there's a strong wind blowing. So I've got to have the lens pointing downwind because the moment I take the lens cap off it's absolutely covered in uh, spots of rain which just ruins the images. So I've got a couple of images. Um, I would like to have talked you through them but there's no way I could have vlogged in these conditions um, as well as ha operate the camera so I'm just doing this little piece to camera now in the shade of this little uh, wooden barn and hopefully we've got some images that will work. It's very moody here and that's what I'm hoping for so let's see if we can get some nice black and white images from this. Blimey, that was quite extreme. It's absolutely pissing down out there again. I don't know why I do this except the photo opportunities, they're excellent. I think I've got a couple of really nice shots in the bag, even irrespective of the weather. I went out to go and try and get something minimalist and sort of uh, fine arty, and I think I might be able to produce that from a couple of the images that I've now got. Oh dear, it's flipping hard work walking against a 35, 40 mile an hour gale across loose pebbles, it really is hard work. Anyway, I've packed up here now. Um, I'm apologising for not being able to show you the pictures while I was making them. Um, it's just conditions wouldn't have ever allowed that to happen. For a start you wouldn't have heard me talking over the microphone would have been just so much wind noise and also concentrating on keeping a tripod upright, keeping the rain off the lens, holding a vlogging camera, you guys. Um, it wouldn't have worked. Well, as the image is uh, complete here, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I put quite a few pictures on the end of the video. Um, I think they all tell a story and they all look pretty minimalist to me, although you're all welcome to comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and please also subscribe so that you get notified when I upload new videos.